Have you watched my previous film about the celebration at the cemetery in Latvia? In this video, I will show you the continuation of the cemetery celebration in the family circle and tell you where this tradition came from. Hi friends, Sparklet here. Today we are going to the old cemetery in the town of Gulbena and then to lunch with relatives in Stamarjan. Let me remind that Kapu Svatki or celebration at the cemetery in Latvian is a special holiday tradition when people gather at all Latvian cemeteries with their loved ones and remember their deceased family members. Lydia, where are we? Oh, we are at Gulbena Cemetery and uh, with our relatives in Gulbena City, in Stamarina. And uh, uh, we are going to, we visited the grave of very young kid, almost, not full two years. Right. He was buried here. and. Uh, now we are going to have the family lunch. Family lunch, okay. Yes, uh, in, with, with, many, with many relatives from different parts, different yeah. sides, younger, older, youngest, you yeah. know. Let me the, move around here and get behind you so yeah. that people can see this wonderful, wonderful cemetery. Yeah, look. It's just amazingly beautiful. It's, it's bigger than Vistinlea where we were before because it's uh, one of the region town centers Gobana city and it was very popular uh, for the railroads at that time because railroad was crossing and there was railroad going to russia from riga you know kind of much bigger cemetery most people already left for their lunches or uh, some it's peaceful going. now yeah it's peaceful calm all right i like the ambience of cemeteries i, I do like, too yeah. i always have it's kind of connection to the universe. It is. And uh, we will definitely be connected to some graveyard somewhere someday. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> the tradition of visiting the graves and commemorating the dead is included in the cultural canon of Latvia, a collection of the most outstanding cultural values of our country. Over time, Latvians began to create patterns with the rake at the burial site. This is due to the ancient tradition of sweeping the burial ground with the spruce branches, so that the person who has gone to another sun does not find the way back. Currently, many people, without realizing it, perform a similar ritual with the rake completing the care of the grave with such decor. Hi friends, Sparklet here. We continue our uh, uh, cemetery celebration today. It's in a different town, in the town which is bigger than Vistinlea, which is called Gulbene, and we have relatives here. Uh, my cousin with uh, all the other family members uh, and um, we are today at the uh, Evita St. Ivar's house. You you found know, a I, mushroom. Found, I found the mushroom in their yard. That looks the, like a good garden, mushroom. In their garden. It's an edible mushroom, but this is the tradition to come together, all together, many kids. We are here with around 40 relatives and most of them are young children we're gonna enjoy lunch um, we are meeting some of them just for the first time and it's kind of latvian tradition to have family gatherings after a uh, cemetery and so many people that there will be two tables first table for kids and all the people and the second table will be for adults with a little bit of hard drinks and you know a little bit different okay this is Ivars. he is evita's husband my big relative <laughs> your big relative yeah i have to tilt the camera now to get you both into yes. view <laughs> <laughs> i have to 
to jump. <laughs> <laughs> and this is beautiful, that property which is called Smiltai One. Yeah, and this is a summer house and another big house they are using for summer. And beautiful, beautiful, you know, kids are playing basket and he has a big family, very nice family. And yes. we are going to have party there. The party is in the preparation. And it's continuation of Kaposvatki. Kaposvatki? Yes. What's Kaposvatki? Festivals to see. Yes, that. it's cemetery party. All right. <laughs> Relatives coming in and uh, they are getting introduced each to other. Garais, puis svecākais mazdāls un šitās te draudzinis trīs. While relatives get acquainted and talk each to other, Inessa and Evita are trying to count how many kids and grandkids they have all together. At this table there is not enough place for everyone who came. That's why people will be eating in two groups. First group the kids and all the people and the second group all others. Super, super, super. In each culture, the commemoration of the dead was treated with a special respect, and our ancestors tried to bury their loved ones in the territory of Latvia, observing all the customs established within the framework of religion. Even in ancient times, the cemetery served Latvians as a place of worship where not only the dead were buried, but also a place where many important rituals were held. The tradition of commemoration of the dead has pagan roots. When people gather for a special ritual to talk with the deceased and call them to this son. Previously, this pagan ritual was widespread not only in Latvia, but also in Poland and Russia. Since ancient times, the cult of the dead in the earth has been especially important in Latvian culture, because it is important for Latvian not only to improve their household plot and cultivate fields, but also to take care on the burial places of their loved ones who have died. Landscape design architects recognize that Latvian cemeteries can be considered unique parks because of our people take care of them the same way they take care of gardens. <laughs> The tradition of cemetery celebrations has long been established in the culture of our country and reflects the belonging of all people to one community. In the summer, from the end of June to the beginning of September, celebrations are held 
in all Latvian cemeteries where relatives, friends and neighbors of the deceased gather. It is often said that this celebration helps to realize that life does not end with death. It's a way to remember departed loved ones and meet long-lost relatives, even bring the whole family together. Every life ends in death, regardless of whether a person is buried after death in a family cemetery or the ashes are scattered behind each of us is the history of the family as well as the whole nation. The way we treat history, our families and the graves of our ancestors shows whether we respect our origins and roots. It's important to be aware of the temporality. Come from time to time to cemeteries where you can meditate with the dead or gather in cemeteries with the whole family, honor the memory of the dead and discuss various issues. However, the celebration at the cemetery is, of course, not the only reason why close and distant relatives get together once a year. If relatives do not meet for a long time, do not keep in touch, then the holiday at the cemetery comes as a disputable reason for everyone to gather again. And so that one who hosts guests does not need to cook for all this huge feast, then everyone brings something of their own. A holiday at a cemetery and commemoration is always a story about emotions. This is a reason to think about your parents, grandparents, what was good in them and what was not, what we forgave and did not forgive them. <laughs> Cik cilvēki? Cik šodien? 30, 40? <laughs> Tik daudz radiņu. Tu līdz saskaitīs. Pie galda, vai ne?
Like and subscribe to my channel. After watching my video, think about your ancestors and find time to visit them in the cemetery. Your Sparklet. <laughs>